Villanova. And yes, I did wake up this morning. Still technically probably the homeowner. However, um, I signed the papers for him to have this house last night. Also, I was a very busy girl yesterday. Uh, first of all, when I got to work, I called the real estate agent who listed that house. So I told her that I was looking for a real estate agent to help me buy and I was interested in that pro property that she has. And uh, I told her I wanted to see it. The odd thing about that, if you remember, yesterday was extremely icy. It still is right now. And the weather was really bad. So she's like, yeah, you know, and she told me about the lady that owned the home. The lady was single too. And she lived there for like, I don't know how many years, a lot of years. And that lady initially sold that townhouse to her and she had a dog and I was like oh my gosh that just sounds perfect and so I told her there was one more that I wanted to see and she's like all right let's go see them both so I told her that I could be there by five o'clock and I put it into Google Maps but I had a lot of fucking drama at work yesterday so you know god I really couldn't even fucking barely think it was very hard for me but anyways, let's go over the work situation first. So, <laughs> the 28-year-old boss said he wanted to have a talk with me. I kind of got a nervous feeling because it's never good when he wants to have a talk. And um, so he took me into his office and the tyrant was actually there this time. He's very much a fucking coward. And um, he's like, remember how you said you wanted examples of when you're negative? And I was just sitting there like thinking, oh my God, you're sitting there fucking looking for reasons. And yeah, I did give him a few. Um, this chick who was running her mouth about me, I saw that she resigned and I asked her about it because I knew it would make her feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I did. I may have told you about it. I don't fucking know. I barely slept last night. So anyways, um, she ran to the boss, if you remember, or if I told you, and he's like, you can't talk to her about it. Apparently she decided not to quit. And she's gonna take some other kind of job and um, she's probably really fucking embarrassed about that too. So anyways, that's my strike one. Number two was the fucking snake bitch, the fat Mexican, who runs her mouth and threatens to thrunch, punch everyone in the throat every day. Um, she was talking shit about me, just saying my interactions with representatives as if she could fucking speak. That bitch has a DUI, she's on probation, and everyone in that place hears her threaten to kick everyone's ass, even him. So, oh, that holds ground. No, it doesn't. And I, I pointed out how actually I'm building reputations with the representatives. I speak to the same ones every day and um, they've helped me handle things. So scratch that one off. And uh, it just really doesn't matter. Um, they're trying to find negative things about me so they don't have to give, give me the pay increase they promised, whatever. And also about that, I told them that I knew this was gonna happen. So I went to HR myself and asked for ways to help blah 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 and you should have seen the tyrant sitting there squirming in his fucking shoes he hates me and I know it for sure now fuck him the reason he probably had to have that little meeting is because I sent an email about how wonderful he's being and how shit ain't getting done basically he's what he's trying to do is not do any work not help me and then you know he, he knows it's gonna bite me in the ass later and he don't care and obviously that 28 year old little fucking pussy I'm sorry I hate that word but he just lets him get away with it because he's like, you know, the tyrant, I'm not saying names, uh, he has to do another job. He has to do billing. I'm doing his job right now. Okay, kid, you're doing his job. He's not doing anybody's job. He's playing ping pong and I'm the problem, whatever. So what I'm going to do this morning is send them an email and tell them that I want to withdraw my request to get a raise and if they ever see anything positive that they'd like to give me a raise for then I feel like I earned it case closed done so now to the good story oh my god it was so freezing last night first of all I was so tired I arrived at the house about sunset and it's right by that Walmart so you could see all the planes down there you know it's on the other side of Walmart you know on that side <laughs> and it's gorgeous. Oh my God, it, the streets are wide. It's by really, these really expensive homes. And it is a townhouse, it's an end unit. And um, it has a home, it's a part of a homeowner association, which means I don't have to pay trash, electric, shovel, or 
water the grass and there is a lawn in front too so I'm gonna have a lawn in front of my house that I don't have to water or mow they have maintenance yay and um you know I have a huge down payment so it's not it's only gonna be about one of my paychecks you know a, li a slight bit more than one of my paychecks and I'm gonna get money from your dad I'm gonna be just fine I could save money to go see you I was in love oh my god it's like a princess house I swear to god it is so gorgeous it has an attached garage and there are three bathrooms and three bedrooms there's a bathroom right when you walk in there's a one of those built-in fake fireplaces not even a real one but a fake one just cute and um, the stove is old but who cares you can replace an appliance there are some big stairs I mean there's vaulted ceilings it is oh my god it's so like unbelievable and what I don't like is the bedroom one of the bedrooms that's next to the bathroom you know there's a bedroom and a bathroom together but that bedroom's small she's like you know your son could stay in this room because I told her about you and I was thinking yeah that's more, too small of a room you'd probably not care about being right next to a bathroom and pick the bigger room and we could use that smaller room like for a computer or my yoga room and the bedroom I have oh my god it has a, sh a shower in it just a shower but it's like got granite walls and it is so like fancy you're gonna flip the fuck out if you see it um, if your dad lets me have it, we'll get to that in a minute too. Um, it was just so gorgeous. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, this is it. I know it. And because it's on an end lot, it seems like a private house. And then if you go downstairs in the, from the kitchen, you could see the patio. So I could see right what Maya is doing all the time. You know, for the most part, there's an area I can't see. Um, and there's a little doggy door built into the glass door so she could go out by herself. I probably wouldn't leave that open in case she hurts herself. But, uh, oh my God is just so freaking amazing the yard faces north so that kind of concerns me because we owned our house in Cheyenne face north and the north side never got sun so the patio might be cool and not really get a lot of sun but I don't give a shit um so then we went to the second house it was a bitch to get in there it was icy for one thing because it was you know freezing and we went to the Google Maps gave us both directions to go to the garage. We couldn't even figure out which one was the garage. And then the garage isn't even anywhere near, like where the apartment, <laughs> it's not an apartment, where it was the condo. Where the condo is, it was like an apartment. And um, when we got inside, yeah, I have vaulted ceilings, it was cute. But a cat lady lived there for one. And for two, somebody who is very old or disabled had these things all over the toilet. And there was, the carpet was outdated, I mean, the house the first house the one I'm buying um, that one had new carpet they freshly painted it I mean it's damn near perfect and um, so after we got we couldn't even find the second one after the garage incident we couldn't even figure out which one was the apartment I was like oh my god this would be hell to live here and we couldn't even find nowhere to park like it would even if you did have a garage parking in the garage wouldn't even help you because it's nowhere near where the apartment is it's stupid so yeah, I told her, I was like, I want to buy that first one. And I was like, what do we need to do? And she told me, give her all my contact information, blah, blah, blah. But here's the downside. I did all that. Your father is supposed to close today on the house. And guess what? He's stalling. Luckily for me, his real estate agent has a very big mouth. And she told me that, you know, when you own a home, you have to pay for taxes, right? They put, they could put that into your mortgage. And he was flipping out because he has to have two mortgages and it's going to be a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and he's like, no, no. Okay, guy, you took the house off the fucking market and you said you're refinancing. You put me through all this hell. And, um, no, he's starting to see he's not going to get that big of a fucking payout is what it is. <laughs> And I told him, okay, here's the deal. Either we both could sit here until spring and not sell the house, or you could sit here until spring, sell the house and get this much money or and possibly more. I was like, why don't you just do that and let me go get the house I just fucking found? Cause I'm putting it down. I'm putting an offer on it. <laughs> and I did. That house was on the market two days and wait till you see it. Oh my God. I hope I get it. Um, as for my job, it's just stupid. I mean, that chick who <laughs> is putting to question me, she's late every single day. She always has to go somewhere and do things. She's so disorganized. Sure, she could do the job, but they did admit they need about two, possibly two other people to do my job. So it would be in their best interest just to, you know, whatever. 
I doubt they're gonna fire me. They said till the end of the year, basically the tyrant won't be doing anything. And Google Maps said to go by Cherry Creek today. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I was kind of scared because the roads are icy. But yeah, anyways, so he's gonna be doing nothing but tormenting me for the next month. I don't care. Uh, the lady said I could possibly close on that house before Christmas. Get out. And now your dad's like, I don't know if I want to do it. He don't want to lose me. He wants to hurt me is what he wants. And I'm like, no, you're not backpedaling. Do it. <coughs> so his agent said they would pay me the first part of the loan um, by the 5th or the 6th, you know? And yeah, he just needs to go move forward with, with his plan. He had to sign legal documents taking the house off the market. I mean, I'm not going to just sit there in misery with him. I, I even told, called him before I went and saw the houses. I was like, and I, well, after I saw the houses and I'm like, I want to make an offer. I was like, are you sure this is what you want? There's nothing. He's like, nope, that ship has sailed. So there you go. And uh, I could see him just trying to ruin it so I don't get this house. But no, he's um, not mentally healthy. And he don't know what he's doing. And, you know, I reminded him that he could turn around in a couple months. Sell it when the market's better. Get more money out of it. He did put us in a situation where it's a buyer's market, so it's better for me. And if he sells in the spring, it'll be better for him. If we both sit there and do nothing, that's not healthy. And if we both sit, if we both sit there and try to sell the house, we lose everything. So yeah, he just needs to cut his losses now. As for this job, I don't fucking care. I'm doing the work of two people. They're saying, you know, your work is fine. We basically don't like you. Well, that's too fucking bad. I'm not there for a popularity contest. So, whatever. I do plan on finding another job anyways, and that's why I really want to get into my home. Um, look at Cherry Creek. There's the morning sunshine. And the mountains, God. I noticed when I show you the mountains, you can never see them. But, yeah, and I could barely sleep. I was up till midnight fucking contacting the lender who's in New York because I'm getting a loan through Chase. Yes, I like Chase. Um... I sent him an email with contact information from the lender. They're going to work it out. And I sent her an email with his contact information. So between the two, they're going to work it out. Get my loan secured. And the only problem is your father. He just needs to, uh, yeah, end this. That's what he needs to do. And, you know, I think that he wanted to come out ahead and have me suffer. I don't know why. He's very sadistic, obviously. Sadistic means you like to watch people be in pain. And I think that's how this tyrant that I work with is too. But because I was married to your father, I know a fucking coward when I see one. So he doesn't scare me. He really doesn't. And especially because we're in a position where, you know, they don't have somebody trained on both their computer systems. <laughs> so at least for the time being for me getting a house, I'm going to be fine. And, uh, you know, by the time I get the house, if it's by Christmas, they said till the end of the year, they'd be riding this out. He'll really start hammering down in January, but yeah, I'll leave. So fuck him. I couldn't even sleep. I was just like, oh my God, I'm so scared to do this. And you know, that's my home and that's my husband. And house is fucking gorgeous though dude oh my god I mean <laughs> it's not perfect but damn near and uh I, there's a pool too it, the community has a pool in it and there's a park called Sage Park and I didn't go see it last night because it was dark but I read that kids go sledding at that park and someone said that it's like close to a mile walking around a trail they have that's what me and my need it's everything I can't believe I whipped it around that quick, and I don't think your father did too. I think he wanted to make me hurt during the holidays because he's fucking insane, but I'll be fine. <coughs> so, yeah. Oh, my God. I just can't even believe it. And that real estate agent was so cute and nice, and I don't know. So, I mean, even if I don't get this house, I will get one, and 
I'm fine. I just, I'm ready to move on now. So I was so excited to tell you because gosh, you know, I don't know. See, I think that there are moments where there's someone up above that gives us strength, puts opportunities in our path and just makes things happen. And I do think that, that you've seen that several times in your life. I don't know how you got the strength to do everything you've done. And you know, right now I have everything coming against me. <clears throat> my boss at my work is too. And uh, it's just because he can't speak English and I think he's threatened by me. He's not very good. And I think that he likes to rule by intimidation, making people fear him, making himself feel better. And I know a coward when I see one. I've seen this many times. I'm, you know, I've been in the medical field for 20 years. I don't know what any other field is like, um, but this is the worst place I've ever worked, honestly. So, but I'm stronger and I don't give a fuck. So no matter what happens, I'm fine. I mean, if your dad's like, oh, I'm not doing it. Well, then, you know, I'm gonna have to start ruining his reputation. Tell no, I'm just kidding. Um, I will just have to do something else because we can't live in this situation anymore. So, you know, I will get a different job. That's what I told him. I was like, if you decide you can't do this, then I'm going to quit this job and get a different one. And I really don't want to do that. I'm tired of going in the same fucking cycles. And part of it is, is you know. I'm going through hell at work and at home. I need one place to feel good and you know, his he just needs to do the right thing for once in his life and quit trying to get ahead. He is ahead. He makes damn near six figures. I make, you know, not even half of that. I don't. So he could just, you know, do what he does. He makes enough money that he'll be fine. I guess I could turn around and just make him sell the house. That's what I could do. Because that's part of our decree that he could just sell it and lose everything. That's probably what I will do because I'm getting this house. And I'm going to tell him right now. Yeah, that's what I'm going to tell him. That his only option is to do this or we're going to put it back on the market. Because he's not ruining another opportunity for me. He's ruined my educational opportunities. He's ruined every opportunity for me. Opportunity at having a husband. You know, opportunity at having a long marriage that could have been good. Just lots of things. And I don't even want to talk about it. Because now, ooh, I'm getting to that place. And I had to go into the lion's den. These people don't scare me either. Because one thing I have done in the past few years. Going through this hell with your father. Is research manipulation. Research, you know... <clears throat> gaslighting where people try to distort your reality tell you one thing when it's not what happened you know like they'll say the sky is green the sky is fucking blue you know but they try to they're like no you're wrong you're crazy I've lived with that with him for years and I grew up with that too it's evil it's a demonic spirit and um I was very proud of myself for how I handled myself <clears throat> yesterday with these people. I saw right through what they were doing. And I would encourage you to talk to me if you're dealing with manipulative people. They're out there. Especially in the military, I'm sure, because they know they control you. But I'm here, and I look pretty today, and hopefully um, I'll get my home. But I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.